We have a call, another caller on this topic on line one. Shiboy Young Wing? Hello, Governor. Oh, good day, mate. Illusionists, for being a Jew, should know that Christians do not blame the Jews, uh, and all, of course, there's exceptions, but do not blame the Jews for killing Jesus. Jesus was a Jew, and one of his own disciples betrayed him. So it's not uh, that. I mean, they were all a part of the society. And you're it was a fucking his... idiot, illusionist. What are you talking about? Jesus well, was a Jew. That means yeah, God's no, a Jew. I know Jesus was a Jew. So God's a Jew. So everybody should be a Jew. Yeah, Jews are cool. No, we're all Jews. Well, no, except except Jesus. Romans. Well, Jesus was a Jew. Everybody's a Jew or a Roman. Jesus was a Jew, but all of Jesus' followers were Christians, basically. What? Because Christianity How started the fuck like does that work? just after Jesus died. Who? What happened? Like, after Jesus died, a lot of people said, all right, this guy was super cool, we're going to make him our Messiah. And then they started following Christianity. All right, we got Will back to clarify something on this. Yeah, I was just going to say that's my problem with organized religion is that uh, each one of them thinks that everybody else is going to hell. And yeah. I think if there's God, then he doesn't want to see, you know, uh, people that are nice people burning in hell forever just because, you know, uh, they were brought up to believe one thing or another, you know? I reckon the Jews are going to heaven and everyone else is going to hell. Yes, but it's not hell, it's just like, you just die. I, don't even, I, I look with Will, I don't even think it's related to... I think religion. Jews are related I directly to Jesus. I think if you're a good dude, you're going to heaven. Yeah, I can't imagine that, you know, if there's God out there that he's going to, like, send you to burn in hell forever. Because there's no such thing as burning hell. You know what burning hell is? Being raped or going to jail and eat somebody eating jello out of your ass. That's hell. You know what I mean? Or rollerblading for a profession. No, you know what I mean? American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> These things are hell. Yeah. Everything else is, everything else is, we're all, you know, this is heaven. Every day is heaven for all of us. Some of us just forget because we're caught in the mix. I just want to go back to Australia and eat Vegemite. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. That's what I should do, but I can't do it because my ego wants me to be the greatest radio person of all time in the world. And then I can be like, I told you. No, but think about, you know. And then, I'll, and then I'll be trapped in this. I'm already trapped in it. There's no way out. I'm stuck here. Now, now granted, there are a lot of people who hate you, Ellis. But there are a lot of people who you really, really help them get through their day, and they really en they get entertainment out of you. They really e enjoy listening to your show, and, and you're doing something nice for those people. I care uh, about and, those and, people. What? I care about those people. I know people. you do. I know you do, and I really think that that's why you're here, and that's why you're doing it. I mean, yeah, I know that you know it'd be nice to be rich too, and I know that that's something that I don't okay. want to be rich. I know it's okay to want that. Uh, but I, I know why you're here, and I know that you do it for those people who actually really enjoy your show. And that's yeah. cool. That's that's all the right reasons to do it. And fat people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Yeah? I'm tired of this bullshit. Religion is tiring. Religion is a topic that can tire people out. Yeah. It's just annoying. It's everybody's, just so everybody's got some really intense views on it. Everyone gets so weird about it. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like, who has the best fight organization? It's like Christianity is like Team Quest, and, you know I mean? The Jews are legends. If you look at the way humans work, I mean, you look at the government, you look at the way everybody has, uh, you know, I like to think that a lot of people mean mean good, they, you know, they try to do the right thing by each other, but at the end of the day, you know as well as I do that after years or thousands of years of humans being on the planet, they slowly but surely manipulate shit and turn shit into shit. That's what everything is. That's why Christianity is somebody. Maybe there was a dude who had a beard, and his name was Jesus, and he made. You know, I mean, he nobody, put, nobody really liked him. He made up a story, and he's, he was God's son. And then everyone got pissed off about it, so they killed him. And then someone else thought, "Fuck that! I want to get some payback, and I'm going to write a book about how awesome he was. And if you don't do what he says, then you go to hell. There's no hell, and there's no. You know, I mean, there's no God. There's no. You know, I mean, there's, a, there's, a, there's no Jesus." There's no Noah's Ark. There's no fucking apples and snakes. It's, it's, it's all bullshit to scare you because some people need to be scared into doing the right thing. Because there's a lot of mean people in the world, and if they didn't think there was a God, they would walk around hitting people with rocks and, and rape women and shit. And there's already, and some people already still do it. It just has to be here because some people just can't be trusted by themselves. 
they need to be told that if they do the wrong thing, they will go to a place where there's a huge red dude with horns and he'll fuck you up the ass. They have to know that. They have to believe that. It's bred into your, it's bred into your mind. There, if you do do the right thing, then you can lead a happy life. And then when you die, you might go to some weird spirit world where you can feel fluffy about what a great life you lived. And if you live a shit life and you're a prick to people, then you, you, ha- you, you, you beat yourself down your whole life subconsciously or fucking openly to yourself because you're a prick and you know your old assholes know they're assholes. And then when they die, they bury themselves in a bunch of guilt in the spirit world. You sound like you you agree with the philosophy of Thomas Hobbes. Who's Thomas Hobbes? Very smart philosopher. Yeah, well, I'm smart too, believe it or not. And I'm I'm unscarred. None of this shit has has contaminated my brain. And I don't, that's why I don't know anything about it, because I choose not to know anything about it, because I don't trust people on TV that tell me I need to send money to them so that they can go and hang out with little black kids that can't walk and touch them, and then they can walk again. Because I am on planet Earth, and I know that that's bullshit. Heaven and hell is what you make it here. You wake up in the morning, and you, and you tell yourself where you're living and where you're going. It's your call. Thank you.